You win. Thank you. doing they think oh well, what do you mean weed is weed isn't it but no this kind of stuff hurts people so you know and we've told them this over and over again we go and we speak in front of city council we talk directly to the councillors I have meetings with them where we chat about it and they're like well yeah you know there's just not a lot of political support for keeping them open well that's what's wrong about it there needs to be more political support and hopefully this kind of stuff will make more political support because it's it's wrong to close them so we just have to keep reminding them. We need real cannabis dispensaries. And that's why we need licenses, emergency licenses for the cannabis dispensaries that are in operation now, instead of forcing them to close. The government stores don't allow edibles. They don't allow topicals. They don't allow extracts. And many, many patients who use cannabis as a medicine need access to those things. They need access to edibles. You're taking the medicine away from sick and dying people. How can you live with yourselves? Why? Why would you take medicine away from sick and dying people? Ask the mayor that next time you see him. They want to close the dispensaries down and take medicine away from sick and dying people. Does that make sense to anyone? Please ask the mayor why he wants to take medicine away from sick and dying people. Please tell him to answer that question. If we can get a good answer, well, it will go away. <laughs> but there is no good answer. There's no good reason to take medicine away from sick and dying people. God, it's not a hard drug. Pot can replace hard drugs. We're afraid. It's scary to have to go to work and be under threat of police arrest when you're just trying to help people. When you're just trying to provide people with medicine and the government threatens to put you in jail for it. They threaten to come and take away your livelihood, close your building, arrest anybody who's there for breaking and entering. We're under constant threat, under constant threat. It's traumatizing to have to go to work every day and think that you might be arrested by the police that day because you're giving medicine to people who need it. All the cannabis dispensaries in Vancouver that are helping people, yeah, and providing medicine. Why does the mayor want to take medicine away from sick and dying people? We want to heal the tens of thousands of people in Vancouver that need cannabis. Save our dispensaries here in Canada. It doesn't make sense. We just legalized marijuana, and now the city's going to close all the cannabis dispensaries. 
That's wrong. Tell them to stop. Oh, no.